Hello and welcome to another AIC video. Uh, this should be a fairly quick one. Um, on a video I made recently, somebody commented about uh, an HTML5 capable web browser for Windows XP. And that kind of got me really excited. So I whipped out my IBM ThinkPad X31. We're running Windows XP Pro on here now. I had um, Haiku on here previously for, you know, just testing out, but we gone back to Windows XP to try this out specifically. Uh, we're running an Intel Pentium M at 1.4 gigahertz with two gigs of RAM, just so you know what system I'm running. And what I did is I went ahead to the website, which I'll show you here in a second. I downloaded it, unzipped it, and it doesn't get installed. I just copied it into my program files folder and just made a shortcut of the MyPal launcher uh, for my desktop. So I don't know if there will be an installer later so you can add it to, you know, to install into Windows XP or if this is the way it's meant to be used. I'm not sure. Uh, but here is the website. It is mypal-browser.org and it is an HTML, HTML5 supported browser. And the reason why that's important is most website web pages anymore for the last, I don't know, half a decade at least, uh, are based off of HTML5, uh, probably closer to over a decade. And that allows for much more uh, advanced graphics, uh, a lot of embedded scripts, things like that. Um, it's just a, a, a you know more advanced um, web browsing and more standardized uh, code for that web websites are built on. The older versions of Web browsers don't support that, uh, so there's not you lose a lot of security, a lot of functionality on those websites. Um, you see here, uh, it was originally based on Pale Moon. I've tried Pale Moon in the past. In fact, I think I even tried uh, MyPal when it was based on Pale Moon. I don't know when it uh, changed over, uh, but it, it didn't work. Again, it, it doesn't support HTML5, so they have now based it on Firefox Quantum, which I'm not familiar with. I'm going to have to do some research into that. Um, so just some, some details from their website. Now, as far as functionality, I've been kind of playing around a couple things here. Uh, you have an address bar and a search bar. The address bar, unlike Chrome or Firefox or Edge, whatever, where the address bar doubles as a search bar, this does not. If I try to search in here and say, I just search for Facebook, right? It's not fast because the computer isn't fast. Oh, it takes me to Facebook.com. All right, it wasn't earlier. Um, say I misspell YouTube. So normally what it would do is it would come up and say, hey, were you looking for, you know, this other thing? But now I just get an error. So if I type YouTube, and I'm just gonna type YouTube, It will bring me to YouTube, but if I want to search for, if I just do dog, hopefully it doesn't bring up an inappropriate website. YouTube's really slow. There's a lot going on here. So it just is putting in dog.com. So it's just, um, auto filling in um, assuming you want to go to dog.com or whatever it might be if you want to search for dog um, helps if I type correctly then it uses DuckDuckGo to actually search for dog so that's something that um, you know might not uh, be that might be new for some people it definitely you know took me a second to realize what i was doing wrong there um as far as watching youtube um it's not a great experience i have a linus tech tips video up here they also sent over one of the more mid-range monitors it's a 27 inch 165 hertz 1440p panel yeah, and it's Does it have an actual yeah, gc module it's oh i meant to mute not pause or is it just gc so you can see it's kind of skipping around. Frame rate's not great on there. Um, and it's at its lowest setting. 
no, it's not. Let's drop that down. Well, let me drop it all the way down to 144. Better match for our system anyway. Okay. Why don't we go with this? So sure. it is playing Why it. Like, you could technically this? watch okay. YouTube on here. I don't know laptop. if you would appreciate that. Okay. Streaming computer. You know, I do kind of like the Caboose I.O. system, though. Everything's at the... So I just full screened it. It will actually get there, we'll see. I don't think it's going to. There we go. So you could watch YouTube on here. It's not the best viewing experience, I would say, but if you were like watching a podcast or something, you know, where you're not actually just sitting watching it, but more listening to it, totally, totally doable. The audio on it is fine. I just muted it so I didn't have to talk over it. Um, Again, not the best experience, but I mean, it, again, this is how old of a laptop and we're watching a modern YouTube video. This video just came out today on here. I'm going to close this tab. Um, again, very slow. You saw how long it took to go from the, you know, standard windows to the full screen. Um, now, this is probably what I most would be using this for is I love typing on this keyboard. It's... Um, a really excellent keyboard to type on, you know, being an uh, original ThinkPad keyboard. So Google Docs is where I store a ton of files on there, a ton of documents, scripts, notes for my family, plans I have, uh, things I need to work on. Um, so it's not perfect. Uh, it doesn't register absolutely every keystroke I do. Um, it's pretty fast. It's definitely significantly better than the web browser. Even the one that was on Haiku was pretty awful and pretty delayed. Um, I had to let this uh, load. So while it was kind of processing through and loading the page, it was pretty slow. But once it was loaded, um, which took a few seconds, but after that, um, I can type on here uh, pretty well. It will keep up. There's not too big of a delay. So I've, I'm actually extremely happy with this. And this web browser definitely is something that is uh, worth looking into. Um, and enough so that I I personally am probably going to see if there's a way to support this. Um, obviously, I can't tell you what to do, but uh, you know, if there's if there's a way to support or manage their their stuff a little bit better, I definitely would be throwing something their way. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with it. Very excited to see this. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer. Again, I've just been playing around with this for that last like 30 minutes or so. So not a huge amount of experience with it, but the things that I do, YouTube, uh, Google Docs, um, Reddit, all those things seem to be working just fine on here. Uh, working great. Um, I didn't log into Reddit, but... Bring that up here and scroll through. Obviously it takes a while to load these pages up just because again, if it was possible to have a dual core processor on here, it would make a big difference, but obviously that's not an option. Um, I get this a lot. That's telling me there's an unresponsive script. Just Okay. Just reload that here. And it's usually the ads. So I don't know if there's any plugins that could be put in here, but ads are what really kill the ability to use the website. Anyways, 
So it's usable, it just takes a long time to load. Um, so anyways, that's that. Um, again, comments or questions, leave those down in the comment section down below to do my best to answer. Hopefully you found this video informative. I know it's super quick. Um, I don't have a ton, ton to share about it just because I'm just experiencing it for the first time, but I thought enough of my audience would actually uh, appreciate being able to use their Windows XP machines uh, with a more modern web browser. And I'm super excited that this exists. All right, thank you for watching. Hope you have an amazing day.